Alright, what's up boys and girls, it's I, Domzilla, and welcome back to Ark Survival Ascended on Scorched Earth. In this video, I'll be showing you the caves and the locations of the artifacts that you need on Scorched Earth to summon yourself to the Manticore boss fight arena. Now, as you can see, I'm currently at the Red Obelisk, and that is just to show you that there are only three artifacts you need to collect to actually get into this arena and compared to most maps three isn't a lot to obtain i know but these caves are actually a little more difficult than your normal cave and i'll show you all of that jazz when we start heading into them the three artifacts that you need are artifact of the crag artifact of the destroyer and artifact of the gatekeeper well, the first artifact that we are going to show you is artifact of the gatekeeper now as you can see i'm super super close to the red obelisk and what you need to do to actually get your way easier into this cave I should say is you need to look for this certain ruins here okay so you're right next to the red obelisk these ruins these are located at let's have a little zoom in we can get a direct one 63.1 and a 44 for the coordinates as you head into these ruins here what you need to do is you just need to follow this straight down here just like that until you come up to here this is the turning point, okay? It's very easy to get lost in here, but you just need to follow it straight until you come here. There's a right and there's a left turn. You follow the left turn just up here. Walk up this path. Continue to walk up here. I hope you're all following this. <laughs> and then keep going down here, just like that. And keep following this the entire way down. And then eventually you will come to the beginning of the cave. And as you can see, I've got three dudes here ready to go into the cave so this is the beginning of the cave this is artifact of the gatekeeper let's go ahead and get the coordinates and the coordinates are 58.7 latitude and 47.6 longitude now the reason that i have these three guys here is because these are basically the three main cave mounts that you're going to be using i'm showing you which ones can actually fit in so the thyla is obviously a big one on scorched earth the thyla cannot fit inside this cave which is kind of a kind of a l <laughs> but the thyla can't fit in the cave the saber tooth can fit in here quite comfortably if you're wanting to take a saber tooth and the dire wolf can also fit in here rather well you're probably going to want to take a tame in here because like i mentioned at the beginning of the video all of the caves in scorched earth are rather tough so you're going to want at least a decent mount that's going to do a bit of damage you might want to take a couple of friends for example get a mate boost on either the saber or the dire wolf there's probably other ones that you could use but as you know cryopods are a little bit iffy in arc survivalist ascended so it's up to you what you use essentially now i am literally gonna fly through this cave obviously i have god mode on this is just to show you the location right okay so you go straight through that gap you start heading down you come all the way through here these caves look absolutely fantastic by the way they've absolutely smash scorched earth out of the park i can't lie uh, but you just need to follow this all the way down here just like that and continue to go through there's obviously a lot of bad stuff in this cave i'll probably put somewhere on the screen all of the things that are going to spawn in this cave uh i'm pretty sure that this is a megalosaurus cave as well and if it is you need to bear that in mind and uh don't come in here at night time <laughs> but what you need to do is just continue to keep following this the entire way around until you get to this little blue thing I, I don't really know what to call it uh, but when you get to that you then just follow this path all the way down here go all through these creepy spider webs into these catacombs come all the way over here and then you'll find a little spiral all the way around here uh, now this is probably going to be a little bit complicated a little bit scary You're probably going to need some parachutes and you're definitely going to need some grappling hooks There's obviously a lot of decent drops in here. Let's have a look. Let's see what we've got in here. Anything good? No <laughs> All right, I lied about the decent drop But yeah, you are probably going to need some parachutes and some grapples because it's going to be very dangerous But as you make your way down this little spiral here as you can see artifact of the gatekeeper is right here Look at that, lovely, amazing. 
and you will also get a Scorch Spike skin, which is obviously amazing. We all love skins. But that is Artifact of the Gatekeeper. But that is the cave. That is uh, Artifact of the Gatekeeper. There's definitely going to be a lot of bad things in here that you're going to have to fight. But that is pretty much it for the cave. If anything, I'll probably parachute down from up here because when you get to this ledge here, uh, it's going to be pretty tough. It's going to be pretty tough. You can obviously jump across here, but that uh, is also quite dangerous. But that is Artifact of the Gatekeeper. The next cave on the list is one of the easier ones to find, and this is where you can find Artifact of the Destroyer. Now, as you can see, we are in some form of like run down, burnt down, broken down, whatever you want to call it, village, what used to be a little... Uh, little place well we need to go is here where all these teams are on top this little temple the only one that's intact apart from the giant hole and if you go straight through this door here just down here this will bring you to where the beginning of the cave is now this cave is a little bit better in regards to what you want to take into the cave because you can put anything through this little hole here and then you can well yeah you can use anything you want <laughs> obviously with the rg you can pick literally any of these dudes up and you can go ahead and drop them in the hole the thylo will be able to climb up anyway but that is a bonus now you also don't have to fret about dropping your tame in here because you can just fly in on the rg pick it up and take it straight back out as you can see just like that if it'll let me get out of the hole there you go i would highly recommend using the thyla for this one uh because thylas are the best for caving anyway here are the coordinates on the map it is 78.5 latitude and 76.1 longitude i'll also put up another list of creatures what are inside this cave as well so you are prepared for whatever is about to come at you but this is the beginning of the cave you just come on down just like this oh my lord this cave also looks amazing <laughs> and then you head down into this gloomy little spot here now regardless of whichever way that you go uh it's going to bring you out at the exact same position so we just want to come straight down here and it'll take you through here come on down as you can see our throws are in here so be careful of your armor and then it will bring you out into this large bit here which you're going to have to jump across which is going to be rather tough but again you always should bring grapples and always bring the parachutes there's also a ton of creatures in here so Thyla would definitely be the best bet because it is the strongest that is in here be very very wary about falling down here because i'm pretty sure it is instant death that titan bow is just showing <laughs> So be very, very careful about coming in here and jumping across here because it is instant death down there. But you just want to continue to keep following this the entire way around and you will get here in this little cascoom and you have Artifact of the Destroyer with a Scorch Sword skin, which is fantastic. Oh, you leave me alone. I'm in God mode. That is Artifact of the Destroyer. It's arguably one of the easier caves to navigate uh, but there is a, an absolute ton of creatures in here which is a little bit scary you could probably do a little bit of a madness and uh, try and kite everything into this hole just like uh, all these unfortunate things are um, but that is one way of doing it that is artifact of the destroyer the final cave on scorched earth that has our last artifact is definitely the hardest one to find and this cave is the holder of the artifact of the crag now what i mean by it's hard to find is i've literally had to put a waypoint so i can remember exactly where it is now it is near the blue obelisk and it resides in all of these rocky mountains it is incredibly hard to navigate i'd highly recommend bringing argentavis and carrying your team all the way up here to the cave but it is located here okay now at the moment you can't really see it but if you go all the way down you can see all of our dudes already there this is the cave entrance okay now i'm going to give you the waypoint to the start of the cave if we go onto the map we are at 28.3 latitude and 29.1 longitude. Now this cave is really, really hard to find, but if you had an RG and picked up whatever team you want to take in there, now the Thyla can actually fit into this cave, just like this. Look at this, it's amazing. Oh, okay, there you go. So if the Thyla can fit, then the rest of them can fit also. 
Now, I will warn you, this is definitely the hardest cave on Scorched Earth. It's the hardest to find. It's the hardest to get through. There is a lot of bad stuff in here. A lot of bad stuff. But again, that will be on the screen of what things you are going to find inside this cave. But basically, it is just a downward spiral. So you continue to just keep following it. There is a lot of water in here that you could maybe get trapped in maybe <laughs> but basically there'll be a lot of jumping so bring grapples as always always bring grapples and parachutes you just need to continue to follow it all the way down here go through all of these spores continue to follow this round it will bring you down to this big big skeleton which is so cool and then you continue to keep following it down just like this it will bring you out to another skeleton and then you take a hard left continue to come all the way down here as you can see it's a very long cave and it's going to be full of bad stuff and it will bring you out to this pathway here you need to follow it left around here jump down or you can even follow the path down whatever either way you, you're just going straight down until you get into this final arena where you will find artifact of the crag See, look, there's a rubble golem chilling in here. That's how hard this cave's gonna be. <laughs> so make sure your filers are pretty beefed up. Because <laughs> there's a lot of bad stuff. Anyway, boys and girls, that is gonna be it for this video. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop this video a like, subscribe, and ding the notification bell to keep up with further Ark Survival Ascended shenanigans. Now you know where to find all of the artifacts that you need on Scorched Earth to summon yourself to the Manticore boss arena. If this video helped at all, then please let me know in the comment section. But that is all for the Artifact Location Guide. We'll see you next time.